it's crazy to see how much the smartphone has progressed. I recall, what was it, like 2003? Like the cool phone to have was the Nokia. Like you could play the snake game in it. When I first got the Nokia, I was over here playing snake games left and right. But I recall it like it was yesterday. Like many people had the Nokia phone. And suddenly, out of the woodwork, there was this one kid that came in with a flip phone. And once he had that flip phone, we started to like look at this guy like he was the cool kid. Like a lot of people did that. It's like, you know, like you ever heard of the phrase like keeping up with the Jonases or something like that? And it's like uh, you're basically in a neighborhood and people are just trying to one up each other. And let's say one guy uh, goes from a Honda uh, to a Ferrari. Now, subconsciously, he's the cool guy. He's like the ideal for the other people that are in this uh, competition rat race. Well, for us little kids, uh, instead of cars, it was phones. So when we saw this guy with the flip phone, for the most part, he was weird. Like he would actually sit by himself a lot. He didn't really resonate with anyone like that. But when we saw him with that phone, we're like, you're cool, right? And he started to influence us. And we started to tell our parents like, Hey, a Jacob has a flip phone. How come we still have this crappy Nokia? And, you know, as a couple of months passed on by, more and more flip phones started to pop up. And then, guess what happened? The Sony Ericsson came. The Sony Ericsson was this very unique looking phone because it was the hybrid of a Nokia, like in terms of like the, the shape. But it had a little bit of the flip phone features where there was that camera feature. It was like the camera, if you ever look at it, it's like this green with the silver thing. And it just catches your eye. And the guy that had it, I believe his name was Rahul. And he now became the cool kid. So just looking back at it, it's like if you bring the Sony Ericsson nowadays, people will laugh at you. They're going to be like, well, can you edit Uh, content on this can you record um videos Uh, can you record your own podcast no then throw that in the trash get a get a smartphone and it's like before in 2004 when the camera was first becoming a thing we were over here recording the world but once um like more and more processing uh, speeds increased because before it's like the longest you could record a video was like 10 seconds so uh, the kids in our class, whenever there was a fight, we're like, we're like recording it and we're like, wait, okay, safe, safe. Okay, let, all right, keep fighting guys and we record another video. But the longer that the, the, the video uh, time limit got, the more that we turned the phone away from the external world to ourselves. And this is why nowadays soft skills is slowly getting its due respect. It didn't get respect for a long time. It's like I was working with this one gentleman who works in Xbox and he's like very high up there. And he's like a he's like a pioneer within the field. But he doesn't get much respect. It's like um it's like when you're a pioneer, you're exploring uncharted territories and he's just like you know, here we're over here not treating our uh a lot of the employees right. It feels like certain employees get uh, a lot of respect while the other ones who are working hard, they don't just have the bad experience, but they're working hard. Uh, They're just not getting their due respect. What should we do? And that's when, you know, this guy is over here like trying to bring soft skills to the field. Like he he wants to incorporate like uh, the public speaking, active listening, uh, team working and such. And people were laughing at him before. Nowadays, it's like 2023, people are just like, hey, uh, what were you talking about with this whole soft skills thing? And the managers are like, okay, f- create a plan. Let's see how we can incorporate it. That's going to begin to happen. Many, many different organizations are going to be like, wait a minute. Most of hard skills nowadays is coming down to like what? Clicking buttons. You're not really coding like you once did. Um we got to ask different questions to these kids. Do they have a good attitude? Can they um, listen? Uh, are they funny? Uh, 
Are they ambitious? Like, are they willing to learn? These are soft skills traits. And it's like, it doesn't matter who you are. Soft skills fields are going to uh, come come for you. But you don't want to be one of these guys that knows soft skills, but knows no uh, hard skills. It's like, hard skills are very important. Uh, so both are important. I actually talked about this before. Uh, soft skills is about becoming the instrument. Hard skills is about learning to use instruments. And you can do both your powerhouse.